Hello everyone and welcome to Wervin's World and welcome to my Let's Play series of Lit Cube's Universe, a total conversion mod of X3 Albion Prelude. Now I've never played Albion Prelude myself before, I bought it specifically to play this mod because I always stuck to X3 Terran Conflict, but I kept hearing so much good stuff about this mod I just really really wanted to try it out. So I haven't really played this uh, before except for yesterday for a couple of hours just to get to grip with playing X3 again and kind of getting gripped to the UI, with the UI and things like that. Uh, but let's get started. Um, there might be something weird going on here with the aspect ratio and that is because I recently bought an ultra widescreen monitor which I'm absolutely in love with. Basically um, it's not so much about the resolution or graphical fidelity for me but really the widescreen is kind of nice because it gives you much more field of view in games like Elite Dangerous and Evocron and I also really enjoy it with this game so if you don't have an ultra widescreen monitor you will probably see two black bars uh, above and below your video but I hope that's okay um, so let's get started. I am going to start as a Damyeth trader because it starts with a transport ship as well as three scout ships with satellites and satellites are really the backbone of what I want to do. Alrighty, because what I want to do is I want to build a very big network quite fast for trading uh, because traders actually became a bit smarter in this game. They basically won't go into any area where there's not a satellite um, because it might be dangerous and as well they can assess how dangerous the area is by looking at the satellite data. So I start with the Cayman Advanced which is this pretty ship here and as you can see next to me here are these Kestrels, these little scout ships here. And those scout ships they have satellites. If you look at their freight you can see that they have advanced satellites which is awesome so I can start building a network. So what I will do is I will send two Kestrels to explore the universe starting in Argon Prime. Command accepted. And then the other one I will tell to um, deploy a satellite network. But we first get two messages. One is from the alien invasion. Basically they found that there's some Xenon and Terraformers that they found and now they're not entirely sure what they're doing but they're going to keep me updated and ooh, scary. So that's basically introducing the Xenon threat. Then there is the Tandy Tech Corporation which is a subsidiary of Fanon Corporation which basically tells me like hey we are over there and that in that sector and we're growing and for your own safety it might be better not to interfere with us which we definitely will do at some point. But it also points me to an error, and that is I'm called Litcube, and I'm not because I didn't make this mod. Uh, so I'm gonna change my name. Uh, Alright. So, what was I doing? I'm going to the equipment dock at the moment to pimp out my ship a little bit, and I am going to send my Kestrel to deploy a satellite network. I'm going to deploy them singly. So you can deploy them in a box, which means that they put a lot of satellites um, around an area, which kind of, well, it's a waste of satellites, I would say, at least at the moment. So I'm just going to put single, single ones there. Jump range is fine. Advanced satellites, yes. Remember last position, yes. Because if I ever give it another order, it will remember where it stopped last time, If I, in case it needs to continue doing that at some point. Okay. Deploy. Alrighty, so now everybody's doing something. I am going to the equipment dock in order to get some cool equipment. And then we should set some goals, what we want to get done this episode. And in the long run. Incoming message. Ooh, we got another message, which is probably from my ship deploying satellites. Successfully docked. Because when it was deploying its satellites, these two things hadn't been discovered yet. So it only could see Argon Prime and it was like, hey, yeah, see, um, no available satellite placement for advanced satellite is available. Because it was like, hey, I can only deploy in Argon Prime and there's already one there, so what can I do? But now there are more things available, so we can tell it to go and deploy satellites again. And from then on it should be automatic. 
All righty. So what do can we buy here? We can buy some engine tuning and rudder optimization, which is awesome, engine so we can build it faster. We can buy a boost extension, which is which will help us with our acceleration. Duplex boost scanner we already have. Um, trade command software and trading trade system extension. So my goal now will be to get a jump drive, which I can already afford, but I can't buy yet because I am not an Argon Federation associate. I need to basically get some reputation with the Argon. But I will try to get that pretty quickly. Um, because getting that jump drive will really help me in getting started this quick. Uh, basically getting the snowball rolling. So I am going to Home of Light. And the reason for that is that in Home of Light there is a um, shop that sells me best buys and best sells locators. And that's going to be great because it basically allows me to find good trades, um, not only in my own sector, but because I have an advanced satellite network, I can see in each sector what they are selling. So that allows me to basically make universe-wide trades. And especially combined with the jump drive, that will be very profitable. Terracorp HQ docking granted. Alright, here is Terracorp HQ in Home of Light, and we're going to dock there. So as you can see here, the explorers are already doing a good job, and they're starting to deploy some satellites as well. So that's awesome. I can just basically see everything that's there, which is also great in case I'm looking, for example, for a transport ship, in which area I can find one, then I just have to look at my satellite data. Alright, now we are in Home of Lights and we can buy some stuff. Let's buy the best buys locator, best sales locator and maybe two salvage insurance, which allows me to basically save in space instead of at a station, which can be quite nice as well. Um, Alright, so now we need to find trade. So how do we do that? Well, we can first look by pressing 5 or 6. 5 is your best uh, sales locator, which basically lists my inventory and tells me if I can sell it here. And then there's the best buys locator, which basically sell, uh, tells me I could buy meat steak kahunas here for 71, and the average in the universe is 72, which is a difference of 1. Or I can buy crystals here, which are 173 more expensive than in the rest of the universe. So that's not a very good idea. In this game, it's actually way nicer than in Terran Conflict, so I'm not entirely sure if this is Lit Cubes or Albion Prelude's um, improvement. But basically, we can go to Trades. Now that we have the Best Buys, Best Sells locator, we can do a Trade Product Search. And that, basically, we can say, let's say I want to buy some... Ah, we can't see those yet. Okay, never mind. <laughs> We first need some more satellites. Um, well, then I'm just going to search for energy cells. So we can do trade, product search, energy cells. And I want to search the for the hole. best buys. So I can buy them for 13 credits in the hole. And I can sell them for 19 credits here in Home of Light. So let's go to the hole. The, the problem is... The hole is three jumps away, so before I arrive there, there is a there is a chance that um, the deal will be gone. Because this is a dynamic economy, which is what I like so much about this game. If people buy all the energy cells, the energy cells will be worth more, because there's uh, less of them uh, left over. Entering system, Argon Prime. But the reason I will go there anyway is because I like to be in different systems, because... What I noticed in a couple of hours I was playing yesterday is that um, different systems often have people selling ships. And if those ships are a bit damaged, you can get them for a very good deal. Let's say you spend like 200,000 credits, you can repair it and sell it for a million. Which, well, that's really good profits. So basically flying around and finding those ships is, is, is a good idea. And we're already getting a way better understanding of our universe, which is nice. I got a message from something. Ah, oh, he is quick. Well, here is some. This might be a deal. It might also be a mission. Ah, this is a mission. Passenger transport. Well, we don't have life support system in our ship yet. So we can't do that yet. Um, there's no other things that are being sold here. I can check my best buys locator, 
Ooh, I can buy Agno Beef here for 11 cheaper. Maybe that's a good deal. Agno Beef. The whole. Can buy it for 50 the and sell it for 161. Look whole. at that. And for how much could I buy it here? For 93. Okay, so here it's still quite expensive. I should I should take that trade. The whole. In the hole. I hope that deal is still going on well when I'm there, because that's a really good deal. Uh, let's see. Yes, now there's already a place without a satellite, so I could send out my satellite deployer again, but I'll wait for a bit until more of the universe is, is mapped out. Um, they both went into the same direction. Maybe I should tell one of them to go explore somewhere else. Unless they keep following each other all the time. Entering system, the hole. Mm. Well, we'll see what happens. Now I'm in the hole. So, yeah, the Agno Beef is still very Auto cheap. I hope the traders aren't there before I am. Energy cells are also very cheap, but there's less profit to be made per energy cell, basically. How much... Oh, there's a trader coming! I'm just going to dock manually, in the hope to be a bit... Uh, I'm not gonna make that. Now you're gonna see that it buys everything, and then the Agno Beef will be much more expensive. And that's the problem, if you don't have a jump drive, then basically, well... See, now the Agno Beef is 155, so he just bought all the Agno Beef and made it way more expensive for me. Damn it. Well, we can find a better. Let's buy some Delection Wheat then. Autopilot activated. We could go to Cattle Ranch M Alpha. Autopilot activated. Are there multiple Cattle Ranches here? Yeah, there are. It's not as good as a deal, but it's still a good deal. Hey, hey what do I see here? Argon. Something I can transmitting ah, boo. So he is offering a Discover Advanced for 5 million credits and that's because it's at 100% hull and this price is inflated like crazy, it, it's, it isn't worth that much. And that's because whenever they offer something that's at 100% it's just not worth buying. Unless you really would like to ship now, but I can't even uh, afford it. Alright, the satellite person can start making some more satellites uh, and he should wait what did I say deploy satellite network yes Command there we go and then everything will be good again Successfully done. all right let's buy some agno B for 60 Welcomes I hope I can sell it all because it's cost me a lot of money. Where can we sell it? Well, not here. Um, Echno Beef, search for best sell. Eight, whew, 89. That's not as good a profit as that it used to be. But well, maybe it changes in the meantime while we fly to Home of Light. Something I can have transmitting information. And yesterday I got really lucky with some of these cells of ships. Basically, within the first 15 minutes, I made a couple of million because there were some mercury haulers that I could buy for very cheap and then just repair them and sell them. And I kept one to use as a trader, which was really nice. I hope I get that lucky again. Found a better <laughs> deal at Three Worlds, so let's go there instead. Turn around. So yeah, we really need that jump drive. We really need to get our reputation up. And we can do that by just buying some stuff from the Argons and trading a bit.
Entering system, Perons Nebula. Ooh, the Agno Beef is very cheap here as well. But we already have a hold completely full of it. Ooh, ore would also be good to buy here. And the nice thing is, with this Cayman Advanced, we actually can hold that. We have... Um, how do I see my info here? We have extra large container space, so basically that means we can carry ore and trade it. Successfully docked. Alrighty, Agno Beef. You Here you go. Connection to local trading network established. You are being promoted. I'm being promoted, which is just my trade rank. How much do we actually need? Oh, we're almost there, I think. So if I would just buy something, hey, hello. Spit it out, pipe. Encoding data for transmission. Yes, please. Ow. Ship computer Yay! Control transfer. Nice. I got a discoverer for quite cheap. I am going to tell it to follow me. Mm, where is it? Do, do. Discoverer. Ah, oh, there. I just need to repair it and then I'm going to sell it. I already forgot how much I spend on it. <laughs> I always like it that they just eject. So here's a little astronaut flying around. Because, well, I bought a ship and he's like, well, then I'll just get out of it. I mean, I, I could give him a lift, I don't mind. But Alright, stop following me. Command accepted. Alright. Repair, and the repair beam is so great now, it doesn't run out of energy, and it repairs quite quickly. It's awesome. Uh, okay, you can go to the shipyard, and we can sell you. You're going to Argon Prime shipyard, and there we're going to sell it. Alright, that was nice. Let's see if we can buy something here. We can buy Acto Beef. <laughs> uh, no, that's sell. Um, we could buy some meat steak kahunas. Or I could just go to Home of Light and assume that life is going to be good to me. Basically, I'm hoping that I'm going to get enough notoriety from selling that ship that I'll be able to buy the jump drive. How's our satellite network going? Ooh, quite good already. So another thing we can do is look at all the areas to see if there are ships fly uh, there that we can basically just get. Because sometimes uh, ships might be left there because there was combat. Or uh, maybe, I'm not sure if there's also still derelict ships in here. But uh, last time I played I found quite a lot of ships just hanging out and I could just go there, claim them, sell them, even some, some Xenon ships. Which fetch a nice price. Mercury Tanker XL for 1.5 million. Hmm, I don't even have that amount of credits. But I'm also not sure if it would be worth it. I think that's about the price they would cost, or that I could sell them for. I tend to buy, let's say, 75% and lower hull, 80% and. I don't think it's it's always worth it. Unless you want to have the ship, of course, then it's a, a good thing to do. Um, ooh, look at this. So here in Minalaos Frontier, there's a Toucan Hauler. It might actually be a derelict ship because it's like far away. So we could pick that up and sell it, unless we want to keep it. Uh, it does have a good speed. It doesn't have a lot big cargo bay. Speed is nice though. And it has an inbuilt cargo life support system, so it's it's not a bad ship actually. For doing like passenger transport missions and such. Maybe. 
Um, I have to think about whether I want to keep it or sell it. But let's first try and get our um, our jump drive. Then I also need to find a place to buy energy cells. Which you can, I think, actually do a Terracorp as well. Yes. So maybe I'll just go there. Or can I also do that here? Yes, I can also do that here. Then I'll just go there. And by buying energy cells, well, I need them for my jump drive, but I also hope to get my notoriety up. Because at least I think that if we have level 2, then we should be able to buy it. I'm not 100% sure on that. Alrighty. So these energy cells are not the cheapest, but I just want to get my notoriety up. Connection to local trading network established. Energy cells bought. Hey, that didn't increase it at all. Well, then I'll just wait for my ship to go there and sell it. Discoverer. He's almost there. No aim. There we go. So now because I have the trading system extension, I can just sell it from here. I get 400,000 for it. There we go. You have gained recognition. Yay, I've gained recognition. Federation Associate. And I think that's what we needed. And then we've got a jump drive, and then we can pick up that ship, and then afterwards I'm going to put this episode to a close, I think. Successfully done. And to trade. Jump drive, there we go. Only 100,000 credits, which is that much. Um... Perfect! Nice! So now we've got a jump drive, we already bought some energy cells. Now we need to tell our computer that whenever we say go somewhere, that it just immediately uses the jump drive. So we say auto jump, yes. And then we say auto jump minimum range is 1. So whenever I want to go to a different sector, I tell it use energy cells. Cost me like 10 energy cells per sector, but I'm not too fussed about that. Um, so now I want to go to Menelaus' Frontier to get that ship, which is closest to the Eastern Gate. Jump device charging and immediately it starts jumping. 20. Entering system, Menelaus' Frontier. Alrighty, uh, where are you? You are there. Somewhere. There. Debris. Debris. So that's what why those satellites are quite handy. They advanced satellite has such a big range that I could actually find this. Because if I would have used a normal satellite, I would only have seen like a fraction of what I can see now. And that made me discover the ship. Two can hauler. There we go. I think I'm actually just going to sell it. I need the money. Because it's so nice to be able to have the money that... Um, whenever there's a ship for sale that you actually have the money to buy it. Because that kind of gets a snowball rolling, right? Then... Alrighty. Yes, please. You can. 
Claim. Perfect. So now I've got a two hand. Um, here we go. It. What does it have with it? Ooh, a docking computer. I might steal that from it. Um, let's go to the shipyard, Mr. Tukon Hauler. Command, navigation, dock at. Uh, where's the shipyard? I think in Kingdom's End. Docking granted. Command accepted. Yeah. So once it arrives there, I'm going to tell it actually to let me know when it arrives there. Uh, notify me when order completed, yes. So that's good. Now it will tell me when it arrived there, and then when it arrived there, I'll go there, steal its docking computer, and then um, life will be good. Because docking computers are nice. Um, maybe there's more ships lying around. There's a pirate base. Ooh, there's been some fighting here. I can pick up missiles and firefly missiles and stuff like that. Um, remote guided warheads. Ooh, those are worth quite a bit. I think I can sell them to military outposts. Not 100% sure. Um, yeah, I'm just going to say I'll dock with one of these things. Because then it jumps there. Uh, let's see. Remote guided warhead. Where are you there? That might be nice if I can sell them. I think I should be able to. And otherwise, I have three remote guided warheads. Always good to have in your cargo hold. One small tip is I always accidentally press my right mouse button and then I shoot my weapons. So you can press uh, 1, 2, 3, 4 to go through your weapon systems and I always put it on 2 or wherever there's no weapons so that I don't accidentally shoot at stuff because I tend to press the right mouse button quite a lot. Oh, stupid flying. You think I would learn from playing Evocon Legacy, but no. Cargo bay now contains remote guided warhead. All right. Are you worth something? No, not not a whole lot. Military outpost. Let's try and dock there, sell it, and then I'll put the episode to a close. Military outpost. Docking granted. Autopilot activated. I always like how alive the universe feels in this game. Something Elite hasn't been able to do for me yet. I hope they will at some point. Successfully done. All right. Queen Atreus and the Kingdom of Boron bid you a peaceful welcome aboard. Connection to local trading network established. No, it doesn't seem like we can sell the stuff we picked up here. Not sure. Well, I'll just keep it in my cargo hold and maybe at some point we can sell it. Um, I've got still some energy cells. I'll buy a couple more. Energy cells. Alright, so what have we done today? We got a jump drive. We got another ship. We made our explorers um, explore quite a bit of the universe already. Um, so, yeah. That's not bad at all. So yeah, next time we will try to get some more ships, get some more money, and then start up building our uh, trading empire. So with that, I hope you found it fun, I hope you found it useful, and see you next time.